Hello everyone. My name is Naman Goyal, and this is the second lecture of this chapter. And the chapter name is what? Lines and angles, right? So chapter we are going to learn lines and angles. So we are going to try to finish this chapter by today. Okay. Okay. Next topic in today's lecture, what topic we are going to learn? Pair of lines. See, lines can be so many types. Either they are intersecting, parallel, coincident lines. So we are going to learn about that part. Transversal of a or parallel lines and angle made by transversal. So these are the four main topics we are going to cover in today's lecture. Okay. Okay. Now, what is pair of lines? Okay. Or intersecting lines. First, we are going to learn about intersecting lines. Okay. So when two lines, two or more lines cross each other in a plane. So if I draw a, if I draw two lines, right? So they are intersect. They are they meets at one point, right? So that point is known as point of intersection at which they intersect each other. They meets each other. So that lines which intersect at a point is known as what intersecting line. Okay, when two and more lines crosses each other in a plane. they are called intersecting lines okay the intersecting lines share a common point and that common point is known as what point of intersection which exist on all the intersecting line is called the point of intersection here line p and q intersect at point o if i draw a line like p and if i draw a line like q and their point of intersection is o okay so if we can say that the p and q intersect at a point o which is point of intersection okay so you got it what is the meaning of intersecting line got it now the next thing is parallel and coincident line okay see what is parallel lines when two lines are never intersect if i extend that lines up to infinity then two lines which never intersect okay so the lines which coincide or what is coincident which coincide one on one okay one to one right which coincide or lies on the top of each other are known as coincident line like this if i draw a line <clears throat> and if i draw let me change the color okay if i draw another line like this so these two lines are what coincident line they lies on top of each other in the case parallel lines they the parallel lines to each other have a defined definite defined distance between them means the distance between the two lines will remains constant okay okay or we can say that they never intersect got it on the other okay okay now see if you see these two lines are parallel lines they never intersect so number of point in common there is no point in common and solution is phi means no solution phi means what no solution okay intersecting line they meet at one point like this one point in common okay and coincident line means one to one many infinitely many points in common okay because both the lines represent the same line then point which are common to that both lines is what infinite lines infinite points okay 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 now transversal what is the meaning of transversal of parallel lines okay see if i draw two lines let me draw the figure there is a line like this and there is a line like this okay so these two lines are parallel lines if there is a line l and m and what i told you l is parallel to m okay now if i draw a third line which intersect these both lines and for n this line is n so this line is known as transversal okay the line which intersect the intersect two lines two parallel lines okay in geometry a transversal is a line that intersect two or more other often parallel lines in the following figure below okay line n is a transversal cutting line l and m if you see the figure okay when two and more lines are cut by a transversal the angle which occupy the same related position are known as corresponding angles see if i break this figure from that line 
that part so it becomes like this right it shows seems like this right so if you see this angle is just similar to this angle so what i told you when two line cut by transfer the angle which occupy the same relative position these the angle this and this occupy same relative position so what they are they are corresponding angles so if i give the name is this as 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 6 <clears throat> this is 7 okay so according to this figure angle 1 is correspond to angle 5 they are corresponding angle angle 2 is correspond to which angle 6 right angle 3 is correspond to angle 7 angle 2 and angle 3 and angle 7 are corresponding angle similarly angle 4 is corresponding to angle 8 and later you are going to know that corresponding angles are equal corresponding and you can make a note corresponding angles are equal also got it so what i can say angle 1 is equal to let me mark what i told you angle 1 is equals to angle 5 angle 2 is equals to angle 6 angle 3 is equals to angle 4 and angle 4 is equals to angle 8 are you getting my point okay okay now angle made by a transversal okay now i am going to tell you in brief okay now when two and more lines cuts by a transversal the angle which occupy the same relative position are called corresponding angles and they are equal okay when lines are parallel the corresponding angles are congruent or congruent means what they are equal okay okay now i am going to show you one thing okay now see listen carefully let me select the pen of different color okay mm, yes okay now see now next title is types of angle formed by parallel lines cuts by a direct transversal dekho यहाँ पे दो हमारे पास पैरल लाइंस है एल और एम और ये एक ट्रांसवर्सल है एन ठीक है सो व्हाट आई डू आई जस्ट नेमिंग दैट एंगल्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंगल फोर एंड एंगल सिक्स आर एंटी अल्टरनेट इंटीरियर एंगल फोर एंड सिक्स ओवर थ्री इफ यू सी अ जेड बिटवीन टू पैरल लाइन सी इफ देर देर आर टू पैरल लाइन्स इफ यू सी एबल टू सी अ जेड सो द पार्ट ऑफ जेड this these two parts are known as what are known as alternate interior angle so we can say that these angle 4 and angle 6 are what alternate interior angle similarly z is also there right so 5 and 3 is also alternate are also alternate and 5 and 3 are also alternate interior angle so what is alternate interior angle alternate interior angle are a pair of angles that are in between the parallel lines and no opposite sides of the transversal and on opposite sides of a transversal okay okay so if you see this is a transversal alternate interior angle are congruent to each other or they are equal to each other got it how we can see that they are equal now listen dekho 6 is equals to 2 because they are corresponding angle and angle 6 what i told you angle 6 is equals to angle 2 why because they are corresponding angles right and 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 what and what angle 2 is equals to angle 4 why vertically opposite angle see the point is angle 6 is equals to angle 2 angle 2 is equals to angle 4 so angle 6 is equals to angle 4 isn't it yes or no so therefore what we can say that angle 6 is equals to angle 4 so they are correspond to alternate interior angle are equal now it's time for alternate exterior angle dekho interior kyon bola kyunki ye andar ban raha tha ab 1 2 7 8 they are outside the line segment dekho do line se parallel uske bahar hai na wo so what we can say they are alternate exterior angle 1 2 7 8 acha 1 aur 7 are equal टू और एट आर इक्वल है ना ये अल्टरनेट इंटीरियर एक्सटीरियर एंगल है सो वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अल्टरनेट एक्सटीरियर एंगल अ पेयर 
पेयर ऑफ एंगल्स दैट आर आउटसाइड द पैरल लाइन्स पहली बात तो ये एंड ऑन अपोजिट साइड ऑफ अ ट्रांसवर्सल ठीक है सेम है बाकी सेम सेम है पैरल लाइन्स के अंदर थे तो उसको हमने बोला अल्टरनेट इंटीरियर एंगल नाउ अल्टरनेट एक्सटीरियर एंगल आर वॉट एक्सटीरियर मीन्स आउटसाइड सो नाउ दे आर लाइज आउटसाइड द पैरल लाइन्स ओके एंड दे आर इक्वल टू इच अदर वॉट इट ओके सो यू कैन डू लाइक दैट वॉट इट नेक्स्ट नाउ वी हैव सम क्वेश्चन ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू डू दैट आफ्टर दैट ओके ओके नाउ देर इज अ क्वेश्चन ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस टॉपिक बिकम्स गुड नाउ इन द फिगर ए इज ग्रेटर देन बी बाय वन थर्ड ऑफ द राइट एंगल मीन्स ए इज ग्रेटर देन बाय बी बाय वन थर्ड ऑफ अ राइट एंगल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू नो वॉट इज वन थर्ड ऑफ अ राइट एंगल एंड देन वॉट इज राइट एंगल सो राइट एंगल मीन्स वॉट राइट एंगल इज मीन्स वॉट नाइंटी डिग्री सो वॉट वी कैन डू वन थर्ड ऑफ अ राइट एंगल राइट इज वन बाई थ्री इज वन बाई थ्री ऑफ नाइंटी डिग्री विच इज थर्टी डिग्री इज इंट इट येस और नो येस सो वी कैन से दैट Now A is greater than B by 30 degree. So I can write down according to question A can be written as B plus 30. It is plus. It is B plus 30 degree, isn't it? Okay. Now find the value of A and B. Now if you see, if you able to see this angle A and this angle B makes what linear pair, right? So we can say that angle A. and angle b small b basically makes linear pair makes linear pair so we can say that angle a plus angle b is 180 degree means we can say that a plus b is 180 degree okay acha ab a ki jagah what we can do we can put b plus 30 in the place of a we can put b plus 30 isn't it so what i do i am just going to put a as b plus 30 so b plus 30 degree plus b is equals to 180 degree so it will be 2b is equals to 180 minus 30 degree 2b is equals to 150 degree right so the value of b is what 75 degree now i got the value of b but question is asking for a and b both so for a as we know that a is what b plus 30 so it will be b plus 30 degree so the value of a is nothing but 75 plus 30 so how much we got 105 is the value of a and 75 is the value of b got it now next question we have to do let me change the color okay red okay in the given figure there is a figure let me draw it again there is a line segment ab line not a line segment a line there is a line cd this is 2c this is a mm, this is r this is b this point is o and this angle is 60 degree or this is 4b right this is 4b now question is asking for abc and this angle is given as co T this is T okay C O T given as sixty degree okay now if you see C O T is given only C O T is given in this question okay and it is asking for what A B C both all the values okay now A angle A or we can say that angle B O D is equals to angle A O C why they are vertically opposite angle so we can say that A is equals to four B right. also what we can say that a a b and 60 degree means acd is a straight line so we can say that a b and 60 degree makes a straight angle so we can say that a plus b plus 60 degree is what 180 degree so with the with this equation we got a plus b is equals to 180 minus 60 degree So the value of a plus b is what 120 degree, right? 
Now what I do, I just put the value of A as 5B, 4B. So what I got 4B plus B is 120, 5B is 120. The value of B is I got is 24 degree. So the value of B I got and now for value of A, I just put this value in this part. So A is what 4B, right? So A is nothing but 4 into 24, isn't it? So it will be 6, 96 degrees. So the value of A we got, value of B we got. Now it's time for C. Now you can see 2C plus A is 180 degree. Yes or no? Angle B O D plus angle A O D is 180 degree. Again, the reason is same. Linear pair. They are linear pair, isn't it? So B O D, how much it is? B O D A, right? Plus AOD is 2C is equals to 180 degree. So A is uh, how much A? Where is A? A is 96, right? Plus 2C is equals to 180 degree. Now I'm going to do here, okay? Now C, <clears throat> 2C is equals to 180 degree minus 96. 2C is equals to how much it is? Let me show you. 84 degree, right? So the value of C is what? 42 degree. Got it? Simple. Very simple. Okay. Good question. Okay. Now I'm going to give you some questions. We are going to do that. Okay. Now question is, if there is a line, there is another line, this line name as L M and this is, there is another line N. Now in this question, it is given that this angle is X, this angle is 110. Okay. 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 Now in this question, it is given that L is a parallel to M. So find X. Now, if I take this angle as one or Y, we can take Y. So from this diagram, we can say that Y plus 110 is 180 degree. They are linear pair. So Y is nothing but 180 minus 110. So the value of Y is 70 degree, right? Now, X is equals to Y. Why? They are corresponding angles because N is a transversal. N is transversal. So we can say that they x is equals to y, they are corresponding angles. So the value of x is nothing but 70 degree. Have you got this answer? Okay, got it. Okay, now next question we are going to do. Draw the figure, okay? Let me change the color of the pen. Yes. Now see. This is A, this is B. This is L, this is M. Okay. This is 110, 100, sorry, 100 degree. This is 80 degree. And uh, this is X. Now tell me the value of X. Question is find X. Let me write down find x if l is parallel to m and a is also parallel to b now we have to do this okay now if you able to see this diagram okay so l and m are parallel right so we can say that uh, solution right Deco. solution is what see a is a transversal for L and M, isn't it? So if A is a transversal for L and M, then X and 100 is corresponding angles. They are corresponding angles, yes or no? If you see X and 100 degree, they are corresponding angles. So we can say that therefore X and 100 are in 
corresponding angles right they are corresponding angles right so if they are corresponding angles then they are equal so x is equals to 100 it's very simple question it is okay got it so can you do these types of questions okay okay now let me give you one more okay simple one na? simple up simple one very simple question <clears throat> yes if there is a line l question next question okay there is a line m and there is another line n this angle is 60 degree and this angle is x so we have wants to find out the value of x now tell me the value of x uh, yes <clears throat> i can take this angle as y so we can do y plus 60 is nothing but 180 because they are linear pair देखो हमें यहां पे 60 निकालना मतलब x निकालना है तो अगर मेरे देखो मेरी नजर x पे नहीं है मेरी नजर इस वाले एंगल पे why because if once we got this angle then x is definitely equals to that angle because they are corresponding angles ठीक है तो पहले अपन y निकाल रहे हैं राइट सो y is what 180 minus 60 डिग्री तो द वैल्यू ऑफ y is 120 डिग्री ठीक है क्या now, as we know that the value of x is y is equals to y because they are corresponding angles, right? Okay. So if x is y and y is 120, so the value of x is so the value of x is also 120, right? Got it? So you can do this question like that. Okay. So in today's lecture, what we are going to learn, let me show you, tell you. See pair of line, as I told you, pair of lines, lines can be intersecting, parallel and coincident. Intersecting means they meet at one point and that point, that point, that common point is known as point of intersection. Parallel lines, they never intersect, no common point or the distance between two parallel lines which remains, will remains constant. Coincident line, when they on each other, okay transversal with a line which intersect two or more than parallel lines and angle between parallel lines there are two types of angle made by transversal one is corresponding corresponding angles are equal and alternate interior angle and alternate exterior angle all the angles are equal alternate interior angles are equal and alternate exterior angles are equal okay got it so this is enough for today's lecture okay now the chapter is completed you can do more you can practice more and more questions okay practice question from your book from any reference book okay okay so at the end thank you so much stay safe and enjoy bye